Hi, my name is Pete, and if you follow my blog, LiveLikePete.com, you might recognize this van. This is the Mercedes Sprinter 144 camper van I built out so me and my wife Anna could get out and do more of what we love. Travel, explore, and go on epic adventures. What's up guys? Today we have a little project we're going to do. I'm going to change out from AGM batteries to lithium batteries. Give a quick rundown on what our system looks like right now. So in this box is pretty much all our utilities. And in here we have an 8D sized 200 amp hour Renogy battery. In conjunction with, we've got two batteries under the hood. They are two 6 volt batteries. These are about 200 amp hours a piece, but of course, because they're two 6 volts uh, wired in series to make up 12 volts, that doesn't double your amp hours, so it's still about 200 something amp hours. So the reason I'm changing these batteries out, a couple of reasons, there's a few benefits, but that battery is dying a slow, miserable death. That battery weighs like 130 pounds, and the two six volts weigh like 70 pounds a piece. So let me just show you what I have for a battery and components that I'm gonna be putting into the van. As far as battery goes, we are going with this 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It is good for about 10 years, they say, as opposed to three to five on the AGMs. Uh, the one thing you have to do if you're going lithium is you need to change all your chargers out, which is what I'm doing. So we have a, currently have a DC to DC converter charger in the van, but it's not lithium capable. So lithium, as you can see on here, the output is 14.6 volts. Lithium charges at a much higher voltage. So that is a 60 amp charger. That's for when we're plugged into our shore power and that can charge our batteries when we're plugged in. As for when we're going down the road, this little guy, the Orion Smart uh, Victron non-isolated DC to DC, DC charger is what we're gonna use to charge our batteries uh, off of our alternator. So, yeah, we're gonna take all this out and uh, Let's get that big 8D battery out of the uh, electrical box. So one thing I am hoping is that this battery tray and hold down fits the new lithium battery, which I believe is the same physical size. Uh, it's like 19 and a half or 20 inches long. And it looks like the same height and width. So let's get that off of there. So you can see this battery tray, I just repurposed some, uh, I don't know what it is, I think it was shelving unit, <laughs> metal shelving at the time, but hey, whatever works, right? So before I disconnect these batteries, I'm going to do a couple things. I installed a solar disconnect switch up here, so we're going to monitor this to make sure it shuts off. Yep, had to shut that off. And then I have a disconnect switch down here on the base of the seat that basically just disconnects the front batteries from the rest of this electrical system. So now the only battery we have hooked up is this, and that's going to get pulled out first. Can't wait to pull this 130 pound battery out of here. Oh, my shoulder can handle it. Coming off of, uh, as you might have watched, my dirt bike accident. Let's see. I remember this thing was not only heavy, but extremely awkward getting in and out of here. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh wow. That's something else. Alright, so let's see how this battery fits down into that tray. Really hoping it's the same size. I don't have to do any fab work. Oh, it's so much lighter. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Perfect fit. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna hook up anything yet because I need to change out that DC converter. I mean, I could hook it up. Yeah, I'll wait. All right, next I'm gonna yank these six volts out of there and uh, all these fuses. All 
All right, now that we get everything out of there, I'm gonna figure out this isolator later. I think I will mount this junction block somewhere about there, and I'll come off of that to the DC to DC charger. All right, welcome back. This is gonna be a very fast forward continuation of the video because I didn't wanna record every single step of the way. It was, uh, it was taking too long, but anyways. Okay, we got the Victron DC to DC charger mounted on the inner fender here. I took some one inch tubing, put some rib nuts in there to mount it, and then that allowed me to mount it to the inside of the fender there. Uh, it was a little about a inch, inch and a half gap on the back there. You got this heat sink on the back. They want plenty of airflow. I feel that yes, under the hood of the engine gets a little warm, but this side sees plenty of airflow. It sees no water, and I don't think it'll get too hot for this unit. If it does, I guess I'll learn my lesson and buy a new one, but everything I've read about it, this is a safe place to put this. So uh, moving on to the wiring, this is the wire that comes off the alternator. It goes into a 150 amp, that's a uh, ANL fuse. It's basically used for like amps and stuff. That goes into the input of the charger. Uh, out of the charger here goes to this little positive junction block and then these two cables, I'm not using this one anymore, obviously it's the, the old negative cable and I had the six volts, but this is zero two gauge cable that goes underneath the van, up under the seat and into the back and attaches to our lithium battery. But as you can see there, these are just basically the wires that we use for like our auxiliary off-road lights. It's a nice easy spot to hook up power for those. So uh, let's go to the back and I'll show you how the rest of everything else is hooked up. All right, and back to the electrical box. We got our lithium battery hooked up. So yeah, out of the fuse, it basically just goes, everything ties into these points on our inverter. And our DC converter charger is back here behind the water heater. I'll spare you the uh, install video on that. It's not very exciting, but yeah, I had to pull this water heater out of there. It was a little bit of a pain, but as you can see that thing, it's buried back there behind a bunch of wires, but uh, it fits in there no problem and then off of the DC charger there you got your positive and negative and that just ties into uh, our fuse block so yeah it's been a really awesome setup we were able to use it on a recent trip to Arizona and yeah our battery is yeah we've got it charged up almost 100% and it's working rock solid all right, so now we got our DC converter charger and our DC to DC charger under the hood. Just had to go up here to our solar controller. Just a quick change of the settings on our solar controller. So yeah, we're gonna pick lithium iron phosphate. So yeah, now that way we got all three chargers uh, able to safely charge our lithium iron phosphate batteries without over or under charging them or doing any damage. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the uh, video for switching our AGM to lithium batteries. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. But uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, more videos to come. We'll see you guys later.